it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today we're making the Grinch ornament. Um, so I already made one. I did it with this green and um, I'm going to go with a lighter green and I'm going to make some adjustments. So the bulb, as you can see, because this is my Cricut self-healing mat, you can see that it is, oh my gosh, did I, no wonder. <laughs> When I first looked at this, I thought it was two inches, but it's actually a three inch bulb. So this first one, the face is way too small. So you can see I did the face at like um, maybe one and a half thinking it was two inches. And then I did this next face at two inches, like 1.9. So I thought I was gonna go towards the end, but I think this is gonna be a good fit. So my flat disc bulb, so you can see from the side, um, I like using these because it's so much easier to handle than a round bulb and it doesn't cost more. So unless you really don't like the way this looks, I highly suggest using um, the flat disc bulbs. And I bought it at Michael's. It's um, plastic. You can hear it. And I normally have lighter brights on, but I feel like it's hard for you to see the Grinch's face if I have the lights on. So that's why it's a little bit darker than what you're used to seeing. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to show you all the tools. This is the polycrylic. So it comes in like a little paint can sort of. Um, so we'll open that up. I'm going to show you from beginning to end. So here's the bulb. You just want to pop this out, right? And um, we'll pop it back in later. This over here, I'm going to use this little drink tray just to kind of hold my stuff together. It's nice either way. All right. <laughs> so let's open up this can, which I think, oh, here, I'm going to pop this open. Okay. So the way I do it is I take my little spoon and I pour a little bit in. So here's my scoop. So you can kind of see I'm pouring it in. And then I just want to make sure, because you can see the color is, it's kind of milky-ish. So you can see if you're getting your whole bulb, right? So you want to make sure that you mix it all the way in. And I'll pour another scoop in just to make sure, because we'll pour it out in the end. Okay. So I'm sort of just going back and forth and slowly moving up to the head. Or to the neck and I'll just put this over here or actually I could do this and I've done this many uh, many times um, and the polycrylic doesn't change my color I've heard some of the others like if you use the mop and glow or something like that that it kind of yellows so this one I haven't had any issues with this at all so, and it's been a few years, so. Okay, so I think I've coated it pretty well, and now I'm just shaking out the excess. And you can see my bulb. It's milky all the way around. I'm also gonna go with a lighter shade of green. <laughs> so you can see this is my first attempt at the Grinch. I normally like to glitter them, and then I put, um, I put my daughter's handwriting on it or a drawing before she was able to write her name, a, her own like little drawing. And then I give it out to um, the grandparents. I'm sure no one else wants it. <laughs> so only the people who really, really want it. I'm not delusional in sending it out to all my friends. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put that up here. I'm gonna move this to the side before I spill it everywhere. Okay, so let's do that. Um, what you want to do is, I just have a little piece of paper. I'm going to make it into a little cone so that I can pour my glitter down. Oh, that was not good. Okay, make a little funnel. I'm going to use the lighter green this time, and I'll tell you which ones that I use. So I dump like the whole thing in there because I know my excess is going to come back out. Um, and I'm going to use, I guess I'm going to take, oh, you know what? I'll use this. I use a little piece of paper to hold it down and I shake it all over to make sure that it's really coated. And you can see, look how pretty that, so now you can see the difference between the two. 
I felt like it was, this one was a little bit too dark for me. So, and it depends on your tree and what you're doing with it. But, okay, this looks like it's coated really well. I'm just shaking it a few times. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this and you can see it's, it's beautiful, it's totally coated. So I'm gonna pour the excess, I'm gonna use the same little guy, put it back in here, and pour the rest of my glitter back in here. And it does use a lot of glitter. I don't know if you saw how much was in here before, but it takes up a lot. But um, I always buy my glitter on sale, so I'm not a big, um, I'm not a cheapskate when it comes to glitter. <laughs> well, I am because I bought it on sale, but then I don't feel like I need to do anything with it. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry. I always let it dry open um, just to make sure that it, I don't know if it can get moldy or whatever, but I'm letting it air dry. So I'm gonna put this down as is, okay? And it's really important um, to wipe down your ornament before you um, put your vinyl down because our hands are so oily that you want to make sure that it sticks. And the face of the Grinch, it is like mainly little thin lines. So I want to make sure that it's grease free, which is funny because on my next video that I'm going to do, I'll show you in a quick second what it is. Um, they're these little acrylic blanks. They're keychains. And so I don't know if you can see it, but I used a metallic blue. And I had washed my hands before. I don't know what I picked up, but you could see my like grease marks on the blue metallic vinyl. And so I thought, oh my gosh, like if you don't clean your surface each time, you're gonna just um, bring all these oils to the material. And so no wonder, you know, it'll start to peel up. Okay, so that's drying. Um, in the meantime, let's weed this, this little guy. So. It's just on black vinyl, it's Cricut vinyl. I always buy my stuff in rolls because it's the cheapest. And um, so this is the Cricut brand, so here we go. Hopefully, yep. Okay, and I love this image because it's, um, it's obviously pretty easy to weed, and I just need my little tool. You just need to weed out the eye. There's like a little, there we go. Oh my goodness. It was easy on the last one. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. And a lot of people have issues with Cricut's transfer paper, or at least it feels like a lot of people because I see so many complaints about it. I don't have any issues with it. I will use it. Um, I buy it on sale, but I will also use, I like this one. Where is all of it? Okay, here it is. It is um, the transfer tape from the Dollar Tree. So it's a dollar for a whole roll. You kind of can't beat it, so. All right, so here we go. I feel like I need to cut this. So I'm not gonna be able to get the full face. So if you have the wrong shape, you can always do this. So that's half the face, and then I'm gonna do this one, and it's gonna be the other half. So it doesn't have to be one full piece, you can do that, and you can reuse it. So I always use, gosh, I'm like losing my head. Use my little thing to scrape it down. Make sure it really sticks to my transfer tape. Okay, and when you pull this off, I always want the vinyl facing down, and then you pull off the backing. And when you pull off the backing, I like to pull the backing back onto itself so that you're not fighting with the, with the vinyl to stick down. And see this one? I had problems with this earlier. So always have a tool nearby just to keep it down because you don't want to use your fingers we just cleaned off all the oils from the disc. So, all right. Ah. That little piece came up. I need to push it back. Oh my gosh. Okay. You know, 
I haven't used the Dollar Tree transfer tape in a while. I'm wondering if it's just not sticky enough for me today. All right. I normally, I feel like I don't have this much issue when I'm transferring the stuff, so. All right, here we go. Okay, so that's totally on. Here's my little tray. And you wanna just center it. The way I apply this is I always hold up the two sides because I want the middle to go down first. And then also with this, I'm just gonna cut some slits in here because that way you're not stuck with, um, with it being such a straight piece like that. This will give you room to kind of adjust. So I like to put down the middle first. So I'm gonna fold it up and put, down, put it down in the middle. Then once I have it down, I'm going to push it down from the middle out. So I did the eye first, then I'm doing the eyebrow. So I'm slowly going this way, oh, as it drops, um, to avoid any bubbles. Same thing with the mouth. I'm gonna go this way and I'm gonna push it. And so you see how it's curling up? It's totally okay because I'm gonna pull it out like this and so that way you don't have any bubbles. There's room for it to come down. And I'm gonna pull this up as well. There. Okay, so I'm all down. Now I'm gonna pull this off. And there you have the Grinch. I, you know what, I like this color a lot more. It's a little bit more festive for me. All right, I'm gonna compare the two. Let me know what you think, if you have any other tips. This one I'm gonna reuse. I'm just gonna put it back down on here and I'll reuse it for later. Um, but here are the two. Now I'm gonna let it air dry. So you can see the face on this one is a little bit too small. I did it, at, like I said, at one and a half, thinking this was a two inch bulb when it's a three inch bulb. And so I did three inches and this face is 1.9. So um, I think this is the perfect size. And here it is, side by side. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. Uh, feedback, questions, uh, let me know. And then um, any special requests, I'm here to do them. Whether it's Christmas theme or birthday parties, whatever it is. Uh, details here, or you can also email me at ann, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. I will make sure that this polycrylic is on my Amazon shop. So it's amazon.com slash shop slash theuselesscrafter. And then everything is done by categories. So I'll make sure that there's one for um, Christmas bulbs. And um, when I see if there's anything else I wanna tell you, nope. So let me know. These are going up. All right. Bye, guys.